Hello, everyone, and, and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Developer Commentary. I'm Mike Stout, and I have a very special guest today, Teal Game Master from YouTube. Teal? Hello. How are you? Uh, some of you might know him from his excellent Let's Plays. Uh, I'm a huge fan, personally, but that's probably just because he likes the games that I've made. Yeah, no, that, that does, does lend a certain bias towards me. <laughs> Do you think we should tell him about how we met? Um, sure. Yeah, go for it. I'll give you guys a little little heads up on why we're starting over and everything. So I lost the footage that I had from Ratchet and Clank 1 the first time. Uh, and Tony's been really busy. So uh, Teal had some time and we thought we could, you know, record some commentary, maybe do a little bit. And then uh, maybe I'll get Tony on to talk about how pissed off he is that uh, someone else is recording instead some, of him. Some loser. I'm not a developer. I mean, <laughs> you must be so annoyed right now. <laughs> I think I, I first uh, I first saw you when uh, you did your Let's Play of Skylanders 1. Yeah. As far as and I sent you a little email, because that, uh, uh, I, I'm going to tell you again, just because it, it was pretty awesome for me. Mm. Uh, when Skylanders 1 came out, none of us knew how it was going to do. I mean, when you look back now, it looks like it, you know, uh, it couldn't have been anything but what it was, but we were all worried that it would go out and no one would care. Yeah, right? I mean, with... Um... Like, in fairness, in my defense, I did explain this in the Let's Play, and I've said it beyond, but before I uh, bought it, I'd never actually seen any, like, proper gameplay videos. It had just been trailers, and I was just like, oh, why is Spyro like this? What's happened? No. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's not really a Spyro game. It's a Skylanders game. It's just they tag Spyro on. So I was like, why? And Yeah, I, I remember you... You were yeah. saying, uh, I'm not expecting too much from this, and then slowly over the course of the oh, Let's Play... Oh, oh no, run. slowly over the course of the first video, I went, this isn't that bad, a hundred times, and I be I got a lot of hate for that. <laughs> a lot of people were going, why, why are you just saying this isn't that bad? Because I expected it to be horrible and it's really fun. <laughs> But by the time you got, but by the time you got to maybe the third video, you were like, "This is the best game I've yeah. ever played." <laughs> it was so much better. But I had so many low expectations after playing the Legend of Trilogy. So I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be horrible. Why?" And so, then it was so, fun. So. So after that, I'd watch that, and then I'd noticed that Teal had done some Ratchet playthroughs also. So I sent him an email telling him how much I appreciated what he'd done. Yeah. And we'd start talking after that, and then we met up at at. Uh, not last year, but the previous year's E3. Yeah. Uh, oh, I should explain. We're skipping cutscenes because we've seen this on yours. Yes. Once we get to Novalis, we're going to start watching the cutscenes. Yep. Now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Hooray. Uh, hooray. I'm going to go down so, the gold bolt path because why not? So this is the this is the very first level that I ever saw when oh, I started right. working on this game. Uh, they had two levels that were done at this point. This one and Metropolis. Metropolis was the first one, and this one was the second oh, okay. one. Okay. Good opening uh, level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really and, uh, good opening level. And this level was pretty much the way you see it right now oh, really? when I picked it. It, was, it maybe was missing like a few of the secrets, the gold bolts, but like this gold bolt that you're going after was in here. Oh, okay. The plumber and the, the plumber's cutscene was already in. Cool. Uh, so you could already get a good sense for the, the humor and everything. Yeah. Ratchet had been going on for about a year before I got there. Uh, oh, okay. And then once I got there, it was production, so they started yeah. pushing out all the rest of the levels. Yeah. Fun fact about this gold bolt, it took me a whole year to find, because I was stupid and we didn't have the internet or guides. So <laughs> I just, it didn't, I don't even know why it didn't sink in. The, it was, it's so obvious, but it's clearly a bombable wall. But <laughs> it's, it's a really old school kind of secret. Yeah. You know, like, in, in the later Ratchet games, we didn't do that as much. Just like, uh, yeah, you can break this wall for some reason. I mean, they have them in Spyro, so I don't know why I didn't know. I couldn't find it. I think I only, I think I found it because I decided to play it again with a full-blown playthrough with the Rhino, and I bombed it with the Rhino by accident. I was like, ah, oh, there it is. What do you know? <laughs> does this game not have the map of matic uh, yes, it does, but that's in much later. Uh, that's in one of the final levels, I believe it's Kalibo 3, uh, Gadgeton headquarters. And that is... I was nine when I first played this, so I was very stupid. <laughs> if, that, if that helps. Yeah, I, uh, it's, you know, it's really funny how, uh, because uh, to Tony and I have talked about this a lot, but... When we started working on, on Ratchet, you know, the people who were 
nine or seven or whatever the target range was at that point. By the time we, you know, got to Resistance One five years later, those people were, you know, fifteen. Almost. Yeah. Uh, so when we were working on the games, we did have some knowledge of the fact that the that our audience was growing up while we were playing it, and mm. you could see some of that in the later games. But in this game, it's just pure platformy goodness with Ratchet having some guns. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. Here's another gold bolt up here, but this I. This uh... was the first gold bolt I ever found. Ah, nice. This yeah, was I... another one that I didn't see for a long time because I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> in well, in they... with the mathematic though, I feel I should explain like because I think they tell you in the cutscene that it's the mathematic, but they don't actually explain what it is until the uh, the help desk notice at the bottom. Um, oh. And back then, I just pressed triangle and skipped. It's like, yeah, I need to know what that is. I got it. It's all good. E didn't, everybody didn't, does that. Didn't look at the map once in the game, so didn't help me at all. But <laughs> was, that was one of the things we had a really hard time with in user testing, was getting people to look mm -hmm. at the map and uh, the help desk text. Yeah. Because uh, there's just a, there's a huge segment of the population that just doesn't care. Yeah, that's. I mean, it makes sense. They mean, skip a, lot, a lot of people. A lot of people like to think they know what they're doing when they don't. <laughs> that is. That is the human race. But, they seem to be the same people who skip cutscenes too. You know, they just don't. Uh, they don't want to watch the movies, and that's cool. We, really? we try to make the games. People yeah. Skip cutscenes. I skip cutscenes if I've played the game before, and I'm just doing a casual playthrough. But never my first time. I mean, maybe we can get some people in the comments to verify this, but I've seen in, in user tests, uh, I don't know, it's maybe about a third of the players, they just really? don't want they don't watch cutscenes. They wow. just skip them immediately. And I'm not sure, they might just be trying to get further in the game, you know, because it's a user test and they only have a few hours. Yeah, possibly. But, yeah, how but at, so the, the user tests last about a few hours? Uh, let's see, so on the Ratchet games, they would last uh, about a week. So right. we would uh, we would bring people in for maybe four hours a day, uh, for three or four days. Okay, and is it the entire game, or is it uh, like it was, set, a, set a, a set of levels per day? Or? It was whichever, uh, whatever we had ready. Right, I see. Because, uh, you know, in the schedule, we're supposed to have X levels ready on Y date, right? Right. So we kind of know when this user test comes along, mm. we'll be playing through levels 1, 5, 7, and 8. And we'll just pretend that they're linked together and there's no cutscenes. Right. And then a, la a later user test, you know, we've got all the movies in, the mission and maps are done, pretty much everything but replay and maybe the final boss, you know? Mm. And that might be our last user test. Right, that's it. So it differs a lot. Yeah, the uh, the Skylanders um, final boss didn't only got one user test and it was too bad. It was too difficult, and then there wasn't enough time to fix it. Was there? Yeah, that's that's. Uh, we we really didn't mean to make that boss fight as hard as it was. It is it just, so difficult. And I only, I only had three Skylanders at the time. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need more than three. <laughs> I, I, I'm not good enough at the moment. There was a, a I think maybe the last week right before it was done. Right. Uh, one of the QA testers wrote this scathing email about how hard the boss was, and he actually got reduced in difficulty by half after that email. So the version that went out, the version that went out was half as difficult. Oh. <laughs> Why? And if if uh, if the QA tester in question, I wish I could remember who it was, but uh, uh, if he hadn't written, you know, it would have been even more impossible. It would have been impossible. Completely <laughs> impossible. So what, I mean, was it his, his damage, the damage he did to you, or, or his health, or what was reduced? It was a combination of both. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> damage he was doing, his health, uh, also how fast his attacks were coming and in what combinations. Like, there was a bunch of stuff they fixed in the last... Did you, you see that water? That's the water created from my tears after playing the original <laughs> version. That, Why is that? That, oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> I just, that would... No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I is that the swim water or what? Yeah, yeah. No, just, that's just created from my tears of chaos difficulty. Oh, duh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about these things. Yeah. So, they were a uh, yeah, very simple enemy, but like uh, you, one of the things that like in Ratchet and Clank you'll notice is uh, 
Have you ever walked up and then the enemies will kind of notice you and then you take a step back and they don't notice you anymore? Sometimes, yes. Maybe we can make it happen on someone. Uh, These guys, like, I don't think it will, because they're quite okay. long range. But there's a... Uh, basically, what, what, we, what we found out was in this game, they activate based on you crossing a line, right? Mm -hmm. And then they deactivate on you crossing the same line. Right, so, I see. Well, you walk over an invisible line, you walk backwards, and then all of a sudden they, they're like, What? Where did he go? And, is, that, uh, is that just Ratchet 1, or is it all of Ratchet 1? Just Ratchet 1. Starting with Ratchet 2, what we did was we had one line that you would cross where they would know you were there, yeah. and then a, a further backwards line that you had to leave in order for them to forget you were there. Right, I see. Because, yeah, I was going to say, like the arenas, I've never encountered that. <laughs> they normally well, they, always spot me. The arenas are completely different. Yeah. Like they're, they don't even use the same enemy code as the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Like, all of the arena enemies were, were hand-coded from scratch to be in the arena, so they didn't have the same sort of weaknesses. Right. I see. Bad. But uh, in Ratchet 3, we added a third one. So there was... Uh, when you walked across the first line, like the smallest line, that was when they would notice you. And That's if it. you went backwards across a further back line, they would, they would get confused and start hunting for you, but they couldn't find you. Mm -hmm. And then if you went beyond an even further line, they would forget you had ever been there and go back to normal. Right, I see. And then there was an even further line. Those were, And these were the ones I had to set up, where if you went into the back past those further lines, they they don't even exist in the world anymore. They just stop stop working and disappear. Ah, oh, okay. And that's, and that's so that we, uh, we don't draw them when they're not around. Yeah, it saves on space, presumably. It doesn't lag out the rest of the level. Right, exactly. Uh, and that that's why it was my job on Ratchet 2 and 3. I had to make sure that the frame rate stayed constant. Mm -hmm. Which I imagine Which is quite difficult. I mean, I, I've, I've dabbled in... Oh, right. Because <laughs> I've dabbled in Mario World ROM hacking, and all it takes is, like, a few sprites, and it lags horribly. So it's, it's very... It's kind of difficult to figure out how, what enemy placements to use so it doesn't lag out the entire level. <laughs> it's quite yeah, interesting. In this, uh, in this game, 60, 60 frames per second was really important for, yeah. for, the, first three, for the first three Ratchet games. And uh, we do a little trick where every time it breaks frame, so uh, there's no such thing as 45 frames per second or 50 or whatever in this game. It's either a static 60 or a static 30. Right, and it'll switch to that within one frame. So our frame rate breaks break from one static frame rate to another, so they don't look as bad as they do in in some other games. And uh, we we we're all uh, vertical synced, which means that there's never any tearing. And all of that stuff went out the window when we realized that nobody really cared. <laughs> People are like, yeah, but why don't you just make it prettier? And I'm like, oh, because we wanted to run at 60, guys. Yeah. So it was, you know, it was always that uh, balancing act. Because, <laughs> oh, Al is so yeah. <laughs> He's my favorite. Love Al. Uh, but yeah, it was a balancing act between looks and making it run at 60. And uh, I think on Deadlocked, because we were running co-op, we, we decided to run the whole game at 30. Right. So that was the first time we gave up. I am it. so annoyed that the HD version doesn't have online co-op. So annoyed. They worked on all for one. Why? They worked on the online for this as well. Why? What? Deadlocked doesn't have the online? No. Oh man, I am well, it did so do, sad. It didn't do the same numbers that Ratchet Three did. Still, so I'm not. I'm not surprised that they might not have considered it. But as it much was delayed playing. for like a year. <laughs> I thought it was gonna have online. I was like, that's why it's delayed. It's gonna have online. It doesn't have online, and the cutscenes look horrible. Why? <laughs> I think uh, I think the reason it was delayed was so that because th they uh, they were originally gonna put it in with the trilogy. Oh really? And then they realized they didn't have enough time to do four. Ah, uh, fair enough. Like what I had heard was it was originally gonna be a downloadable extra that you'd get if you bought the, you know, like how Kraken Time was. Yeah. Yeah, they were. I, uh, from what I understand, we're going to do Deadlock, but I, I might be wrong since I wasn't working there at the time. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But I had heard rumors since it came out, you know. Mm. Well, we've been going for quite a while. Do you want to stop here since we've done two worlds? 
Yeah, we can slate it out. Yeah, because that's yeah. that's 15 minutes for two worlds. I'm, so I, is... I am good. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you're way better at this game than I am. I have to say, especially while talking. Yeah, I'm used to it. Years and years of doing this. It's my job now, so, you know. So, uh, so I'm Mike Stout. And I'm Teal. And... Yep. I'm, I'm and, some uh... loser. <laughs> and uh, this has been Developer Commentary, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.